Hello everyone and welcome back. So, last time on the Dungeons and Dragons Conan game, uh, we got introduced to the new Barbarian. Uh, uh, so, Thelona has joined the crew of the... Uh, I forget what we named the ship. We need to remember that one of these days. Um, well, we actually, actually didn't... Actually, technically, technically, we haven't named the new ship, actually. That's right. We haven't, yeah, we haven't named the new ship. The old one was named the, the Sea's Vengeance. Um, we never named the new one. Um, we, we were we were up and we were deciding on that still. Um, but yes, I kind I kind I kind of impl I kind of said maybe go with the the seas justice. I was gonna say the ladies cheery, but okay. That's true, considering the amount of the the amount the female to male ratio of this crew. <laughs> actually, it's. Oh. Actually, with your Harlings, yeah. it's almost even. Yeah. <laughs> a little yeah, more mess yeah, slightly. With, 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 yeah, with the with the with yeah with the with the regular crew members, it's, it's pretty much even because all of the all of the regular crew members are guys. Well, so far. I was referring to the captain because it's her theory, you know. Yeah. No, I have no theory like a woman's going on. No oh, fury yes, like someone is like you killed my fucking crew. <laughs> I, I just say we go. I, I, I just say we go with the basics and name it the revenge. <laughs> this, this is real. This is kind of unrelated, but this is just something I kind of realized while playing Soul Calibur Six. Um, you, I made Azina in that, and the first character you kind of become friends with is Maxi. <laughs> who I realize literally has the same backstory as my character in this campaign. <laughs> because he's a, pirate, he's a pirate captain whose entire crew gets killed and he's after revenge. Mm. I was like, that's kind of So you have the same backstory as me and you're single? <laughs> well, how <hobby. laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't say that. Do you want to seek revenge across the seven seas? Let's go. <laughs> Commence eyebrow wiggling. <laughs> All right. So, yes, uh, you've been informed that uh, uh, Valena has apparently uh, found a new deity of worship that's actually a deity. She's still a little bit out there, and uh, you've all been told that her apparently her family is in trouble currently, but also that uh, Azina's quarry is uh, eminently available and easily findable to the south. At least via the sea. Right. I don't know how much we're going to need the Hikernia map. As you say, I don't know how much we're going to need the Hikernia map, considering everything that we really have our sights set on is not in there, Hikernia. Boop. And boop. So what do you think we should do, Captain Valkorian? You just call me Valkorian? <laughs> because your image is still a Valkorian. Oh yeah, my, my... Unless I do this. <laughs> Anyways, uh, now all I can think about is Valena giving Azina a potato. But anyways, uh, Valena goes, my family is maybe in danger, but if you say, yeah, it's the captain's call, do you say we go seek your vengeance or save my family? Um, well... My quarry is closer. I think we should deal with them first, especially because they're causing issues for everyone trying to use this ocean to transport goods back and forth. And then we can go after we can we can head to your homeland. Personally, I think if family's in danger, that would take priority over revenge. People can be tracked down again, but if family is killed, then they're gone. Well, yeah, but it's not just about revenge. There's also the fact that these pirates are literally interrupting every shipment that tries to go across the sea. Um, actually, um, 
I'm going to do this for you, Ozzy. I'm going to try and throw you a little bit of a bone here. Um, uh, I want you to... Mm, I want to try and throw something in your direction. Some kind of skill check you want me to make? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Like well, like, like a C check, but I'm not sure how you just do it, like a local survival. C check. I, mm, survival's not because... necessarily what we're looking for. Well, if it's tracking movements and stuff, it would be survival, wouldn't it? Um, uh, it's not so much that. It's like, like, what do you know about what's going on in the local area? Which I would guess maybe is perception. I, mean, I was history? thinking. I was, well, I wanted to try and go for a history, but I can't really think of a history that would work here. Usually, no, yeah, in a situation like that, you give them a choice of skill checks that would make Well, sense. perception would be higher than history either way for Ozina. Yeah. Perception 16. Um, you Thinking about it for a few moments, Ozina, you do realize that maybe the crew that uh, came up from the Eastern Sea has been causing issues here. But... It's hard. You're hard pressed to say for sure that they're the only ones causing issues out here, because it sounds like they they they're used to their having been pirates, but it sounds like there's more of them of late. Okay. Like like the group I have just recently moved in. So, if we're gonna head to Hyboria, we have to basically. I have this set to the wrong thing. We have to basically head over here and then. Yeah, you have to basically head here, where... start going across the steps into Hyboria, and then try to figure out where uh, the Lena's family is settled. All right. Um... Well, yeah, I think you're, we... you're probably not going to want to go around the mountains. That's probably going to be full of nastiness. Not even just the mountains itself. <laughs> we're well. The thing is, we're not going to be able. To, we're not going to be able to take the ship with us. Um, yeah. Um, so we need actually, to we need to we need to gather the whole crew to discuss what we're gonna do. Speaking right. of, by the way, actually, there's another map here. Let me. Uh, this might be a little more up your guys's alley because this might give you a, a better route to look at. Because of everything, there's been several maps to detail uh, certain things about this particular fantasy world. Things happen like that. While uh, the original uh, creator did have some ideas, he didn't have all of them down either. Um, well, is there like a river or something? Up yeah, there's, there a, there's actually a particularly decent sized river that's going in the direction you're looking at, actually. Loading it up right now. But the question is, is it big enough for our, like, our current ship? Um, I'm honestly not sure. I'm waiting for it to say it's loading. Did I reload it already and not know it? Probably. Did that with me with uh, my upload tokens the other day. Looking. Yeah, they're probably getting slammed with a lot more traffic than they're used to right now. Okay, that's... No, it's not these. It's not none of these, although I wonder why that got duplicated. The item, okay. Is that that full colored map I showed you? Uh, One of the, full, the, the bigger full colored map that you gave me. Yeah, there we go. Now it's loaded. Oh, <laughs> now I loaded both of them. Leave the second one, please. Thank you. And drag it this in. Wow. Ooh. Scale. Oh, boy. It's all blurry for me. Oh. Okay. Oh, wow. That is blurry as hell. Why is that so small? I don't know. I mean, the size of it's 2800 by 1936. It should not be that small. I'm guessing maybe when it showed up twice, there wasn't actually two, and you might have... Are you talking about this river right here? But yeah, yes. I'm talking about that particular river. It's the... 
Nezvaya River. Here, actually, if I can, yeah, I can copy this. I'm going to put this here for the stream to see, and now I'm going to put this in the chat for you guys to see. Okay. It's just it's going to be easier for everyone to see it that way. Um, let's tell how discussions. Conan campaign. Boop. It's going to be really... I'll open original so that I actually have the full size image. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, let's see. Yeah, there's a nice sizable river, and actually it stays sizable until you're about halfway there. Mm-hmm. By the looks of it. Yeah, so that's where uh, on on the smaller map. That's uh, I don't know if you want. Wow, to get... directly into uh, Grand Scalmis. The Grand Mountains. Scal Mountains. The yeah, and it looks Mountains. like that's right on the border of Hyboria. Yeah, the it, problem is there's probably at least a, no. at least a waterfall or two there, so there's got to be a point there that you got to go. Okay, we're not going any farther. Yeah, by the time you reach those mountains, you're going to have to definitely get out of the boats, right? And, and start either going around the mountains or over them. So I'm wondering if we should uh, take the smaller boat to de deal with that to go up the river. Because we still have the smaller boat. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to remove that map from the the, the actual roll twenty thing because it's kind of a it, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of point of having it there when it's a blurry mess on that screen. Yeah, I'll get rid of that for now. Don't know why it's behaving like that. Maybe it's, it's just probably a really slow upload. The uh, yeah, the upload probably bugged out because of the issues. Um. Yeah, so that's what around here. On the on this map is where that river is. Um, about more or less, maybe a little south of there, but not too far. Like right here. I'm no, looking, um, I'm it, it'd be bags. about right. Right here, I think, is about where it starts. Okay. It goes from like right there to right there. So it starts, yeah, like right about the end in the uh, Turan there. Mm -hmm. And then ends just in the northern end of the mountain range here. Yeah. Although on that map, this mountain range is closer to Hyperborea, but. Yeah, they have a little more again, mountain range on the other one. Then again, you know, these maps are kind of your mileage may vary, so. It's not too far of a stretch to say that this line here is also possibly more mountains. Yeah. Well, well yeah. Uh, that 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 mountains in there is the uh, Kenzakian Mountains that separate the steeps from uh, Zamora. And according to this map, that eventually hits the Grafskal Mountains. So again, your mileage may vary. All right. Well, anyhow, I'm gonna I'm gonna call like the whole the the whole. Uh, actually, no. I'm gonna I, I want to talk uh, privately with um, with uh, Tarthoon and Roger Burton. Okay. So Tarthoon and Roger. All right. Right. So I kind of I, I kind of get them away away from everybody else, and I I, I need I, I sit them down and I uh, I uh, say you two are the most experienced uh, members of my crew, my crew members at the moment. So how would you feel of being in charge for a little while while me and and uh, some of the others? head off on a bit of a personal mission. Um, Tarthoon uh, kind of sits there for a moment thinking about it. Uh, Roger kind of looks at the rest of the group and kind of looks back to you. I'd be fine with that. Won't be the first time I had to run, try and run a boat.
mainly ask Tarthun because I know he's the most combat competent one um, out of the group. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, Tarthun's kind of thinking about it for a few moments and then kind of looks back up. Uh, it's... I understand we met under strange circumstances. Wouldn't also be the first time I defended this ship either. Hopefully I can do better next time. Kind of have smiles. Who is this? Uh, Tarthun. A he's, a, he's a wizard oh, okay. that they defeated uh, just before meeting you. Like okay. a couple days beforehand. No, I, because... I'm just trying to figure out who's talking. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I, I basically explained... Actually, as a matter of fact, since you're mentioning that, let me, pull, let me do this and go have a look at the ship. <laughs> oh, I see you got uh, you, you got some new images there for a lot of the characters. Roger and I see nothing but a black screen. You gotta scroll. You gotta right. scroll to the left and uh, a little oh, bit down. Oh, okay, there we go. To the right and a little bit down. <laughs> Got right. it. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, I'm guessing that's Tarthoon. That's uh, Tarthoon. And this is the cook. I'm guessing. Yeah, that's Trent. Which one is this? That would be Gunter. Okay, that way, that way, the good, that way, the the carpenter and the navigator don't look exactly the yep. same. Yep. I'm like it's high time. But I mean, they got names. God damn it, they need a little more. <laughs> And and that blue bar is still the ship's HP because at least he's the one that's most concerned with trying to keep that thing in one piece. He is the carpenter. Yeah, and I don't I don't see a health bar for the cook or Tarthoon, but it, I don't think it really matters that much at the moment. I don't, don't eh? Let me look into that because I can see it. Oh. You just didn't enable it so other people could see it. <laughs> I didn't, Dave. Uh, why is... Okay, Tarthun, you said it doesn't have... Uh, yeah, you said the cook doesn't have one? Right. That's a bill to everyone. It's weird. Oh, well, let's... Uh, so okay, carry just... on. Uh, we'll worry about that later. You, you gotta move over to the... There's, there's like a special thing for, ta for dealing with the... With the bars, and it'll have like a checkbox that says C next to it that lets other people see it. Oh. Yeah, that worked. Arc. Okay. You just gotta do that on Tarthoon and. Oh, it's not done there. Okay, there. Okay, now we can see all their health bars. Um, anyhow, I basically explained. But you mentioned that, and I can't see yours. I can see everybody else's but yours. And, and Gareth's. Uh, oh, wait, Gareth's blow uh, Theobald's. Yeah. Um, let me just check here. Yeah, some of them some of them seem to like automatically go over top of other tokens and other ones don't. I don't really understand the uh, how it, why it works that way. There. That should fix it. There we go. All right. Now I can see everybody's bar. But uh, the the I basically explained my plan is for us to go up the river as far as we can, but we're gonna have to we're gonna have to leave the ship at some point, and can't leave the ship unprotected, obviously. And it would be kind of stupid to ask you guys to just sit at one spot and wait for us to come back. So do some more. Um... Oh, what's the word? Uh, do some mentioned. more transportation runs then while you're gone. Yes, there's and there's, I I I explain to them where the ship where the ship funds are in the chest. There's going to be 350 gold and seven jewels in it. If you want to hire extra mercenaries to help out, you can use that. They both kind of nod. All right. Mm -mm. They start talking a little bit about uh, what the plan will be once they do, uh, once you guys do decide to leave for a while. Oh, uh, matter of fact, actually, uh, Tarthun does uh, uh, come back with, uh, uh, when do you plan to contact us back? And how do you plan to do it? That's a good question. Um... <laughs> um, actually, I might check something really quick here. 
Don't know if he has that or not. Yeah, I don't know if that's a regular cleric spell. I don't see it. <laughs> if, he did have, if he does have the ability to use message, I don't see it on here. Um. Well, we could we could pick a specific um, location to meet in like a few weeks. I would. I I guess. Oh, uh, so basically, like, try to meet in the same spot in, like, say, two to three weeks. Yeah. Well, uh, that one. What's, what's the name of the port town that we delivered? St just delivered stuff from. Where you delivered stuff from? Yeah. That's a ways away, but uh, I'm gonna try and get there. I mean, it's closer to the river than, than you know, the place we're currently at. <laughs> Um, true. Uh, that was, uh, Shapur? Sh Shapur, yeah. Mm. That's the most northern marked thing on the original map there. Right. Or, what are, where are we at right now? Like Ramgan? Yeah. Honor Girl? Uh, actually, let me double check. It was on here. Uh, actually, I think it might have been. Uh, yeah, I think it was rum done. Okay. Yeah. That so seems to be the rum done or Demors, and I think rum done is the likely one. Yeah, that's the one that seems to be on all the maps. So. Mhm. Mm Almost all the maps. At least the ones that highly detail Har uh, Harkania. Basically, the idea is, you know, try to build a bit, a bit of a decent reputation for us, for the ship while we're gone. Mm -hmm. Send them off. They can do some more uh, trade missions and maybe uh, come back a little more experienced and uh, maybe pick yeah. you guys up. Like, yeah, and any, you know, any money they make while we're gone, you know, that's that's theirs to keep. Just yeah, the, the, try to a try split to, up as they see fit. Yeah, try to replenish any ship funds you use, but otherwise split the money amongst yourselves that you make, however you see fit. Mm -hmm. That seems fair enough to them. They have no qualms about that, and uh, Roger in particular seems uh, fairly fine with the idea of staying on the uh, ship long term. Okay. Well, we've 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 settled what to do when we actually have to leave the ship. Then, all right. So yeah. By the way, this is probably the the day after you guys come back from the whole uh, goddess trip. So this is probably the morning after. I assume you guys are either. What are you guys actually planning to do then? So the next morning. Uh, is, is this the cook? Uh, sorry, I'm not on the wrong. Pa I'm not on the right page. Oop. <laughs> Yeah, the the the, the fancy looking guy is the cook. <laughs> yeah, he 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 looks outwardly fancy. He's got his slick back hair, but if he does talk long enough, you do notice that there's a two for two missing. So he's not gone unscathed on the seas. Okay. So Blaina is just walking around, just uh, walking past. Karov smiles, walk past him and just go and shut her door and go why has he knows me yet <laughs> you, you you go to the cook and suddenly go why has he noticed me no not to the cook uh to her room i was just asking about the cook because i was curious about something okay <laughs> so basically she she just wanders around walks past gear off and she then goes back and then just starts going into panic crush mode again okay gotcha <laughs> Delona walks up to the captain and goes, I'll be back in about an hour. Okay. Just some quick shopping before we're ready to go. Yeah. All right. I have I have two places to go. Um, I want to go to the apothecary, and I want to look for basically the, uh, the Hyborian equivalent of um, bruise cream, i.e. probably something with aloe. Okay. Um, I assume that wouldn't be hard to find. Uh, I wouldn't I, think so either. 
Matter of fact, it'd probably be along the same lines as just like a, a, a health potion. Well, I'm thinking it's things. probably along that, but it's probably, yeah, it's probably just going to be something along the lines of, like like I said, a, a cream with aloe in it. You know, you know the wonderful healing powers of aloe in the, in the Conan universe. Oh, yeah. Like I said, it's not, <laughs> not like just trying to get a health potion. Just uh -huh. less drinking and more. You slap it on and you're good to go. Um, and just just a quick quick note, uh, real quick. Because um, I mentioned I'm leaving the crew with 350 gold and 7 jewels. That means I am taking this, the 12 gems with us in case we have expenses that need to be taken care of while we're without a ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. Uh, I'm and... trying to figure out where health potions are, just so I can get general price. I know that they're around, it's just a matter of findable things. I remember, I think you had to come up with a price for them before when we discussed this before. Right. Because I... I, I was trying to buy, like, antidotes, because I actually have three antidote potions. Yeah, the thing the thing is about any D&D &D setting is the fact that the... the uh, how valuable a potion of healing is it kind of varies from from setting to setting, so they can't put a listed price. Mm. That's still yeah. really annoying. To at, least, at least you think they give them like a ground for this is where it would be at for oh. like a setting where they're mediumly available. You want to well, you you want you want me to check to see how much they might be in the realms. Because I can sure. al I, I I can always look up uh I can always use some of Bob's resources here and look up to see if they're uh, listed in uh, the wonderful uh, Aurora's Guide to Everything. The problem with health potions and, and a price is health potions are considered magic items and they never price magic items. Roll my eyes. They do price magic items. It's just a matter of where you're looking. And w but wizards is being a dick about trying to price things. Uh, Let's see. I know for a fact they're not in the player's handbook because uh, I don't think fifty they're... gold apparently, and they are priced in the player's handbook. They are potions uh, of healing. Where? Yeah, I mean player's handbook price list for potion of healing is fifty GP, but there's no price list in a potion of greater healing or supreme healing. What what page do you see this on? No, I just googled it and it said, uh, "Oh, D and D Beyond." Oh, oh, so not actually in the player's handbook. Possibly not in the player's handbook. Possibly listed in one of the other books because that's what uh, D and D Beyond does. It is a collection of everything that's in the books for the current edition. Um, I would say that fifty gold is a little bit pricey, especially for Aloe. And for how readily available it usually is for them. Same fifteen twenty five maybe. I don't know. I'm thinking like maybe at worst we're looking at like a five or ten gold expenditure. Yeah, it right. shouldn't be. That, it shouldn't be that much. I mean, basically, it's freaking. Because um... it's aloe, as opposed to like literally being a magic liquid that people took lots of time and care into making. This is literally people finding aloe plants mushing them up and turning them into a salve you can just slap on yourself mm -hmm. and adding maybe, in maybe, maybe maybe uh charge what you would normally char charge for an herbalism kit which is five gold that sounds fair enough okay yeah. so five gold and then i'm basically looking for some lengths of cloth and some twine uh, lengths of cloth and some twine uh, it depends upon how much you're looking for those. Otherwise, I wouldn't say that'd be very expensive. Yeah, I'm basically looking for enough to wrap my sword, and um, and another and an additional weapon. Okay. And then the twine just to hold it in place. Yeah, twine the hold the the, the tight all in place, and some cloth to, to, to enough cloth to sheath two weapons. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm, try to think. Ten silver is a gold, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'd say just like another gold, and you easily got more than enough. Okay. That's really all I was looking for. All right. The only the only coin that really screws up the ten equals the next one thing is Electrum. And that's because that's not really in the wasn't in their math when they first created the the decimal money system for D&D. &D. 
they're like, oh yeah, ten gold equals a silver. Ten silver e or ten copper equals a silver. Ten silver equals a gold. Ten, ten gold equals you. a platinum. And five electrum equals a gold. Why? <laughs> well, no, no, no. Then after they'd already printed it, somebody goes, but what about electrum? Crap. <laughs> The answer to that, the, the response to that should have been, what's Electrum? I don't know what you're talking about. And then enough people well, Electrum is just... They... <laughs> We're not dealing with Electrum, but everybody wants us to have Electrum. Well, well the stupid thing is, is then, then in, in like Dragonlance, they don't have Electrum. They have steel pieces instead. And it's like, who would make <laughs> steel coins? <laughs> Those are about worth as much as a penny. Anyway, basically a cop. So, so that's Seer shopping then. Yeah. Yeah. And say I, you're in the, I say you're out in the market early enough. You can find the place that has the materials you're looking for, and you find stuff in like about an hour or less, and you come back. Well, to the also, ship. mind you, I've I've been in this city for about a week now, right? Yeah. So actually, it's probably more like a half hour. You you're like, I know exactly where to find these. I've already scouted them out ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Buy the stuff you need, and then head back to the but. ship. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And since we actually have a plan, I do say we're gonna we should sell the smaller ship while we're here. Still, I we're, thought that we were gonna use the smaller ship to go up the river. We're we're instead we're gonna use this ship because I think it will fit because that river is pretty wide. And then when we when we hit the stopping point, the crew the crew is gonna turn around and go back to the sea. Okay. So yeah, Actually, looking just at the map. As, so just as it narrows as it goes further north, uh, that's when you're gonna probably stop and head by. Yeah, foot I'm, then. I'm, I'm, actually, yeah, matter of fact, I'm yeah, it looks at... like there's a path there on the steps. Now yeah, that I'm mentioning it. Yeah, I'm, I'm figuring that's probably where we should get off. Um, actually, no, I think maybe maybe we... <laughs> maybe we should actually buy horses. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> you, uh... you do have an unused storage facility in the bottom of the boat now. Man, we should have bought those horses last session. Maybe they'll give us a discount because we just rented them recently. <laughs> I know I'm going to ask him for trouble when doing this. Mm. But because it's bound to go horribly wrong. But that's plain in a nutshell. So let's go <laughs> ahead and do it. Plain uh, of uh, trouble. <laughs> yeah, Blaine is going to go into town. Buy a nice bottle, uh, like a jar of wine or something, or a jug or something. Uh, buy some grocery materials. Grocery materials for cooking. For a nice food, uh, meal. Uh, you already and... did that last time, but okay. Oh, okay, I did? Yeah. <laughs> well, you already right. stocked more food last time. Okay, then uh, just the wine and some roses. Yeah, we stocked food because we got to cook now. Uh, you got some wine and roses, eyebrow raised. Interesting. All right. Um, I believe there's actually a section that mentions wine right here. If I pull my book open correctly, like within a couple pages of here, I know they talk about mead for sure. That's tools. Um, cards. Where was it? Oh, here we go. Uh, ale. You said you wanted wine. Mhm. Mm uh, just a fine bottle of it. Mhm. Mm Ten gold. All right. And uh, some roses. Mm -hmm. they, they're unusual around here. Let's say that you find some nice local flowers that kind of look close enough to a rose, and you spend, like, another five silver on that. All right. And uh, she, she's going to go to the cook, ask, her to, ask him to make a nice private meal. Okay. And... Because... I'm crossing my fingers this goes horribly wrong. And uh, she's going to pour out the wine in two goblets. Get the meal. Throw petals of roses on there. Invite Garofin. God. <laughs> no. 
This is not going to go well. <laughs> this never goes well. She's failed at every single freaking she's persuasion every check role. she's ever rolled against him. She's failed every roll against the meat-headed barbarian. Every time the meat-headed barbarian gets pulled into her, anywhere near her, it ends up him panicking. Why did Thelona jump into the ocean? <laughs> I, I, it's just kind of like off ship. <laughs> Thelona's gone off and taken a bath. Okay, so you're plotting like a private lunch with Garof then? Yeah, a private lunch. By then, I assume the boat's taken off. Are you, are you guys going to go to Hyboria then? No, we we have, we have, we, well, we still got uh, still a couple things I want to talk about. Rook, because, um, okay. So before the lunch, one thing, for one thing, if if we end up if we end up getting horses, we're gonna need it. It makes sense to do it now instead of waiting till we leave. Yeah. Uh, my question was, we 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 pre I previously talked with the harbor master about somebody uh, selling the smaller ship to somebody. Did did it, that did anything come of that? Uh, well, you did not actually. Uh... Uh, come back to them to finish it, so no, nothing has come about it yet. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, I get, I'm gonna go look into that then. All right, so because, you can go look because, into that then. Because, uh, because successfully selling that boat should get us the money we need for the horses. Oh, that's very true. Uh, I'm trying to look up convert old boat to horses because I think, <laughs> I think. Because I think I think uh, we pay. I, I obviously don't expect to get as much back as the ship cost, but. It cost us, I think, a thousand gold to get uh, it made. The heel boat? Yeah. That was 300,000. Or not, not 3,000. 3,000, not 300. Oh, yeah. So 3,000. Three, so 3,000. 3, 3, I don't expect to get that much back for it because. You could it was probably get boat. like an easy between like 2 and 1.5K out of it either way. Yeah, which would more than cover the cost of horses. And um, yeah, looking at the horses. Oh yeah, you could get you can get everybody riding horses easily. They'll come with the saddles. <laughs> they have left over to throw into the ship funds. Matter of fact, what what are the prices of saddles? <laughs> saddles uh, depends on what type of saddle. Uh, military is twenty gold. Pack is five gold. Riding is ten gold. We'd want riding saddles. You'd probably want right. riding saddles, so about ten gold. So that's eighty five <laughs> gold each. E either riding or military would make the most sense. So I'm doing some quick calculator. Because uh, if we were getting pack saddles, forget the horses. Donkey! Yeah, six, <laughs> six horses and six riding yeah, saddles. Yeah, you could ease. Yeah, so you're going to seek out the uh, shipyard guy. He does say, oh, yes, yes, there are definitely many people still waiting to possibly get new boats. If you could buy that boat off of you, we can easily set up a new crew to start also helping with some more transportation. Uh, so, do you want to heal easily? Go at uh, 1.5k. Do you want to push it higher, or are you good? If he's willing to pay that, I'm I just, I'm just in a hurry to get moving. So yeah, I'll take the so one. So uh, 1,500 gold, and I've already done the math for you. Getting the horses plus saddles for all six of you is literally 510 gold. So you still have 490 990. gold. Wait. Wait, no, no, plus 990. 990. Yeah. All right, so that 990 is going to go into the ship fund. So uh, 350 plus 990 is 1440, I think. No, it would be like 12. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, you're right. I, I missed, no, yeah, 12, 1240 is the ship fund. How much was it? Three fifty. It was three fifty plus nine ninety. So that'd be thirteen forty. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I messed that up. Okay, well, that's, <laughs> I got it marked down now. Thirteen forty in the ship. They're gonna have a lot of money to hire mercenaries if they need to. Oh yeah, you're, you're, the, the guys are settled for if they want to hire another guy or two. <laughs> yeah, and they probably should with the heavy hitters being gone from the boat. They probably, right. Yeah, they probably should get, like, two more decent melee guys to help beef up the crew and then start doing some more jobs while you're gone. Yeah. All right. So, all the calculations done. Uh, you start setting off, then? Yep, as long as we got all the horses in the boat and we're ready to go. Yep, uh, I would say by about... Uh, you're already doing this, like, early in the morning and... Uh, um, 
trying to think of his name now. Uh, Trent was it? We do, we do, yeah. we do still have the rowboat though. Just, uh, just yeah, you do still have the rowboat point. just in case you need it. Uh, Trent does uh, have a nice early meal for everybody. I'm not even going to bother rolling for it. He's got enough. I've checked to make sure that his character sheet had enough bonuses to it. By the way, if you check your notes, you'll see that the NPCs should be in the handout section. All right. Um, not if you don't have them set to be visible. Uh, oh, are they not set to be visible? Because I thought they no, were. I only see. I only see the party member player characters. All right. Uh, oh, if you go, you can go to them and set them visible at all. Yes, not only did I get them all the icons, I finally uh, found a way to quickly roll up some stats for them. Hey. Speaking of which, uh, thanks RPG Tinker. I'll also be checking out your uh, bestiality or your uh, your monster things to see what you got in there. Bestiary. Bestiary. Bestiality is something <laughs> else entirely. entirely. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Don't you, dare touch, don't you dare touch some damn horses. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Tarthoon's actually got some pretty freaking good stats. Tarthoon had to have high stats because I actually had a higher level mage than the other guys were. <laughs> when I uh, originally had him thrown at you guys, it's like, oh, I need to have him like at least almost up to the level of you guys in order to make sure he had fireball. Right. Here's what Rogers did. I can click on it and. Ah! What the hell? Hmm. What? I'm trying to open Rogers' thing, but it's not cooperating with me. It just keeps putting this little box on my screen. Oops. Oh, shoot. Sure. Uh, I have to stop and reload the music anyway. Oh, what the heck happened? You just. I, I tried to uh, open up his thing too, and I accidentally clicked the long thing, and it just sent me completely out of the page. <laughs> okay, that right click now. Where's the opening? Okay. Works for me. I don't know if it's just Ozzy or copy implication. There we go. That's probably what I need to do. For a reason, Firefox needs like an extra step. Right. Some reason, some reason, Conrad and Rogers things have busted on me. Oh, well, don't worry, I'm not worried about it right yeah, now. Yeah, I would refresh later, but it's not that important at the moment as long as I can read them. Right. But if you want a direct link, I can direct link you right there. Boom. <laughs> oh, um, the show. He is a level five, actually level three pirate. I I gave him a level for being a pirate to begin with, and he survived two battles after you guys made him join. So a level each time, because you had to deal some crazy shit that they've, he's never seen before. <laughs> right. Oh, he should have went one of us to the temple. That would have been some real crazy shit to see. Nah, that's, yeah, but that's got really... stuff that would have turned his hair white. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I, I, well, then really? he, mat he matched with Felena. Yeah, I was about to say that. <laughs> I, 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 I was going to say that's only about a six on Felona's weird shit meter <laughs> Rogers lived his life as a common sea part mostly. He's not really seen crazy stuff outside of battles. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know the fact that suddenly when seeing a half undead goddess bending over talking to people in their heads would be just like, oh shit. Because because you weren't you were you weren't here when we encountered him. The crew he was part of tried attacking us on the river in freaking rowboats, and pretty much me and Valena blasted their ships to pieces with our spells. And he's just like, ah, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Like, yeah, he wasn't really even used to just dealing with magic at all. Yeah, his people were not ready for magic. At so least at least the more experienced parties on the sea, on the open sea seem to be a little more prepared for that, but the river guys were not ready. So we're on the sea, right? Yep, yeah. so I would say that, uh, yeah, you've invited Gareth to lunch. 
uh, somewhat bewildered and uh, once again slightly nervous, the barbarian does eventually show up at your room. The uh, uh, heavy knuckle thud against your door for knocking. And I'm going to try to do this without laughing. I'm, I'm going to try to do this without laughing. Oh, come in. <laughs> you, can, you can you can almost feel him frown nervously on the other side of the door. He <laughs> he straightens up uh, a little bit and proceeds to quietly open the door and slowly step inside. Um, hello. And slowly closes the door behind him. Uh, you want me to come join you? Slowly looks down at the plate of food. And then, what did you do with the ro the flower petals you were talking about earlier? Uh, they're like all over the food and all over the table. Like the the <laughs> oh, you, they're all over the food and the table and what else? <laughs> and they were, there's pathway of where the petals go all the way to the bed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he starts to look at all this and just like, what happened to the flowers? <laughs> <laughs> And Vlad just looks at him and down the eye. The Lefe. God, a seductive smile just says, You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes slowly scan back up to her and look for a moment. Not sure what to think about all this. Although the first thought probably is. Oh gosh, more of these hard boring crazy things, isn't it? But he doesn't say that out loud, it's just kind of a thought that passes by. Um. So I assume I know where this is going, if she's going to try for this, correct? Correct. Alright. Let's go to the character sheet! <laughs> So obviously you're trying to seduce him. Persuasion or something, or um, persuasion or performance. I think. <laughs> Both of those are at a plus one for Valena. <laughs> so yeah, sure, whichever one you want to try. Which one do you think you're gonna be more lucky with? Oh my god! Oh my frick! <laughs> Got a natural okay. twenty. Okay, we're gonna go from her giving a seductive smile and uh, like a half wink to Garoff to we're on now on the top deck. All of you are uh, either out on the deck uh, keeping an eye on things, or you're having lunch and coming back up to the top deck. As this is proceeding as normal, all of a sudden you do start hearing vo raised voices in the middle deck for the better part of several minutes before things calm down again. Looking between all of you, you do realize that the Barbarian and the Necromancer are missing. I just... I, I, I just... I just look around at everybody and go, I don't, I don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure you don't already know? <laughs> <laughs> Matter of fact, actually, uh, I dare say, should we try a roll for this for everybody? What? What? <laughs> See if we can figure out what's going on? Perception <laughs> checks. Perception checks, everybody. Yes. Well, <laughs> uh. Da -da 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 perception. Wow, she's got plus zero to that. It's weird. Well, we'll give it a try. And if anyone's gonna know it, I betcha he's gonna know it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it would have been funny if you had Garoth roll perception. <laughs> have Garoth roll perception for what is about to happen to him. So, Lona, you have no clue. Uh, Zena, it takes you and. Uh... Giselle. Uh, Giselle, a few moments, but Theobald hears this. And before the, either one of you has figured it out, he suddenly looks up to a lot of you wide-eyed, looks around. 
She lo he looks back down again. The crazy wench did it. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, he just heads to the back of the ship to continue eating. Well, I actually, I look, I see the seal of old law. I guess, I, I guess her new religion motivated her. Quite the motivation. <laughs> so Lee eats uh, what he has has for lunch. I'm going to assume it's probably like some sort of chicken and a little bit of fruit. Are you sure he can hold it? Well, he, he like I said, he's moved to the back of the ship now. He he'll be fine over here where he doesn't have to hear. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I don't think we can discuss what's actually happening down there. No, no, no. no that's why. And I, and as far as I'm concerned, it's usually better just to leave it in the imagination of those involved and move on. Right. I'm just going to say the only detail you really need to know is that maybe about an hour, hour and a half later, Geroff does come out from down below. He's He seems a little bit stunned, but otherwise fine. <laughs> <laughs> this is a thing that has happened. So, um, actually, as the I day is to... long, this is a thing that happened. Uh, I want to talk to Theobald. Um, <laughs> okay. So, uh, do you know anything about a Hyboria? Um, or actually, Hyperborea? that's Hi sure yeah, Hyperborea. Well, I think uh, he's he'll say that uh, the Asgards are the ones that are closer to them, not uh, the uh, Vanheim which is where he's from. But right. he is aware of them. Uh, there are people like Belena who have the natural white hair and usually come packing white robes and are always necromancers. That's apparently a part of their kind of pseudo-superspicion of Hyperborea. Uh, other than that, there's a race of really tall people, naturally. That's why she's as uh, tall as she is. And that... Uh, not everything there was made by the current Hyperboreans, but uh, they're probably one of the first ones that got uh, really big into copying what they had and essentially extending masonry and stonework. Okay. Uh, outside, oh. outside the bits like that and the fact that they're super superstitious, he doesn't know a whole lot about them. Okay. You know, so, uh, how do you feel about the fact that we're going off to help Felena's family? <laughs> I get the feeling that maybe her family is a little more sane than she is. That, see, that being said, he looks back downstairs without being able to actually see anything. It seems like she's pulling it together just fine recently. <laughs> All right. I just wanted to get <laughs> see it because he's he's like the more knowledgeable NPC in the group. Uh, I kind of want to. He, he's poke he's him. definitely a little more traveled. Although Geralt is probably the next most traveled, but he doesn't retain all of it usually. Yeah. Just kind of like I hit things there. <laughs> they're, they're tall. They have pale skin, and they're assholes. <laughs> I hit them with a hammer. Yeah, he did. It was fun. <laughs> No, nah, it wasn't a hammer. That was Tuesday. That was the axe. <laughs> Never yeah, rue the day that you forever rue the day you came to my camp on a Tuesday. For you, it was the day that Garroth ruined your life. For him, it was a Tuesday. <laughs> So, how long does this conversation go? I'm pretty much. Uh, uh, pre I think this is pretty much done. So, anything else you guys want to do between lunch and dinner, or shall we progress? I, I hear most of the crickets. Uh, Blaina, after that's done, she's gonna get cleaned up and uh, go up, uh, up the top and go. Yeah, how was your jog? What was that? You just go, like, try to deny it, or just try to play... Oh, that was a good jog? 
Yeah. Okay. Did you know he goes, see, do you enjoy your jog? Like they're in separate places or something. You know, one <laughs> thing I just noticed is the old Volina icon is still on this map. Oh, yeah, that does not get updated yet, actually. I can do right. that. But anyway, so you're basically you're basically teasing from afar and acting like nothing happened, even though probably half the crew or more already knows what happened. Oh, she doesn't know that, though. Hmm. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't know that they were they, they were making Whoopi very loud. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't know that voice is Carrie. <laughs> she doesn't Though know. That I that, should that, that say one, that the, the wooden the, floorboards are not soundproof. <laughs> I would say that uh, the, that the new barbarian doesn't know because she rolled a natural one. Not unless she uh, started asking people what's up with the weird noises. <laughs> Uh, she, she just looks at everyone and just goes, So how's everybody? And just notices this awkward silence and goes... There's a, there's, yeah, there's a little bit of a silence before slowly Theobald and uh, Giselle and probably even Ozina slowly start looking in your direction. <laughs> so, how was your day? <laughs> uh, from Giselle... Her uh her cheeks turn red it's like fine just i i i could, and Garrett I were could just tell having that a, sounded uh, very fine from up here <laughs> it was just a discussion between slight, two adults uh, she tries to be unlike me she's trying to just pull off a slight smile about uh actually laughing <laughs> right yeah azina doesn't really care that much except she she's just kind of think, saying to herself man the next time we go to town i need to seduce another dancer <laughs> I, that's what I need another tall mug and a dancer maybe I'll pick up a guy dancer this time mm. or both <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or yeah both Ooh. two three way <laughs> she just uh, kind of looks at their uh, watching eyes and goes, why is there something on my face? Is there something on my dress? Or no, 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 you're fine, says Giselle, still, still holding the slight smile. Uh, uh, uh she has it. <laughs> what? What? No, Ozzy. I just had a thought. I just had a thought. I think uh, Ozina just kind of looks at her and goes, goes, is that is that lotion in your hair? <laughs> Oh. Uh, she goes, uh, yeah, it's it's fine. She just moves her hair with her hand. <laughs> Doesn't know that, I'm just, that there's not actually anything there, and I'm just screwing with her. <laughs> so we're off to Hyboria then. The uh, Fibbled slowly kind of half turns. Yes, we are. Matter of fact, it's yeah, it's it's a little past uh, half day now. So you do see uh, as you're heading towards Hyboria, which is to the uh, northwest. You do see a little bit to your uh, still high in the sky, but a little bit to your uh, left. You do see the sun is starting to set. <laughs> it's starting to get into position for the afternoon. Well, after my full. Discussion, discussion with Garoff. I think I need a smoke and a nap. <laughs> <laughs> so, I do, I do actually want to ask Elena something. Yeah, okay. You know, so, um, are we planning on killing the White Witch? <laughs> she just kind of shrugs and goes, I don't know. Possibly. I guess it depends on what happens. We're just going to save my parents and my family. Or possibly somebody else, and she just rolls her eyes. But, um... I don't know what's going to happen, but if worse comes to worse, we may have to fight her. Well... 
I think between me and Garroth, we're very good at stabbing things. She just blushes and walks downstairs. <laughs> that is not what I was gonna meant. <laughs> Phrasing! <laughs> <laughs> just the one just wanders around the ship. <laughs> yes, Valet does very well that he's very good at stabbing things with his pork sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's gone there, folks. <laughs> she finally succeeded in her role. Matter of fact, she didn't do su succeed, she critted. <laughs> The thing that's been driving this poor character crazy for, what, the better part of a month now? <laughs> in real time? Right. In, yeah. in game time, like, about a week? Maybe two? <laughs> so, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, so after, after, after she, after she uh, blushed and ran downstairs, I just kind of looked around and go, what did I say? <laughs> I like to think uh, was, as soon as soon as Valena's out of uh, uh, hearing, you, you hear a snicker snort from uh, um, Giselle, who just can't hold it in anymore. I like to think one of the NPCs says, "What didn't you say?" Matter of fact, Phrasy might have just came out of somebody else and on the deck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, what's, uh, Thelona up to? Well, uh, uh, I guess that's up to Randy. What does Thelona do for the... Uh, uh, I think he has himself muted. Ah, uh, sorry, I, I had a sneeze earlier, oh, I forgot. No, no, <laughs> no wonder you've been quiet, I've been kind of wondering. Yeah, yeah, I had, I had a sneeze earlier and I muted and I forgot to unmute. She's basically in the back of the ship just practicing sword fighting at this point. She's been completely clueless about all of this. <laughs> just just completely dumbfounded and baffled? Yes. Uh, well, not really baffled, just like it didn't even like spawn on her notice meter at this point. Didn't even hear it, didn't even notice it, was too busy eating, and now she's just kind of hanging around the back of the boat. She's eating, and if she heard, so if she heard sounds, she doesn't know that's not normal. I just thought that was what boats sounded like. I, it's, as far as I know, that's sounds these people make, you know? It's essentially a sound that people. you hear frequently on boat. Oh, baby, oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't know these people. <laughs> I signed on as a hiree. <laughs> Um, All I know is there's been a remarkable lack of killing shit in the last two days. Yeah, we're going to have to rectify that sooner or later. Well, there's going to be plenty of time to rectify and, that. And, and you are the one that talk, one of the people that talked me out of going on a revenge spree. <laughs> yeah, there. but there's the, the, the rescuing people is kind of the... Uh, it's the more heroic thing. Maim, kill, destroy the undead. If they're there, we'll see. Rip its hair. By, by the way, Matt, through. Uh, the new icon needs its hit point bar enabled. Oh, you don't see it? No, I, I see didn't. it, but that's interesting. Yeah, it seems like you've had some interesting tidbits here. Let me see. Da, 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 da. There's a little for everyone. It has the C on. Let me just click that. Just make sure and save. You're talking about your icon, right? No, my icon's fine. The new one. Valena. Oh, the, the, the new Valena icon. Yeah. Just hold everyone. Oh, okay. Whoop. There we go. Actually, I, re I realize why I'm able to see it. Because I'm also able to move it. <laughs> because because you gave me access to, the, to his character sheet so I could make adjustments. Oh, that's to right. Spells. Because that's I just, the character sheet. Okay. I just never got around to doing it, though. Mm-hmm. Um... Uh, actually, you know, thinking about it um, while we're traveling, uh, I, I see if any of the crew members want to have a sparring session. Because I think Azina would want to help them 
improve their combat skills a little bit since they're going to be uh, on their own soon for a bit. I will watch this. Okay. Actually, I'm going to say that Gunther is the one that says he's probably the most rusty out of everyone there and will agree to a dual practice. So you, you say that Thelona clears off the back part of the deck there to and basically just kind of sits on the side. Um, Which one's Gunther? He's this guy. Yes. So are we, are, um, are we actually going to do this like regular combat or are we going to do I like assume that we, we would probably do this regular combat. All right. We're going to consider this actually uh, stunning points instead of hit points just for the sake of not having to have to heal everybody afterwards. Right. We're intentionally using non-lethal blows. Mm -hmm. Well, if you guys don't, Thelona then pulls out the wrappings that she just bought. The what? The wrappings Rapping. for weapons. Oh, yeah. Because that basically takes your weapon and basically just deal turns it to subdual damage. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, I'm actually going to... Why can't I see these guys' sheets anymore? Huh. Oh, or at uh, least make I sure it's, make sure it's uh, the handouts is opened. I can not I can see Conrad's, and I can't see Gunter's. Huh. Weird. So I'm actually going to slow... Uh, I'd say gonna, refresh yeah. at this point, because that's going to be the only issue that I don't... It's, it's blue, it's everybody. Rather rather than rolling for initiative, I'm just going to let him attack first. All right. And I'm also going to point out, I'm actually going to slightly handicap myself. I'm going to use my my mace instead of my great sword. All because right. because the great sword's a bit overkill for this. <clears throat> Location, close that, and then open up the tab so I can more easily control Gunter. Okay. Arson, he does. Actually, he uh, the the weapon they gave him is a light hammer, but I believe we had gave him a mace, correct? Yes, because he took uh, he took a he took mace from the spare weapons. The... Yeah. Cause I'm pretty sure Conrad took the long sword. Well, Malmoy Star, where is it? Is it up there? Not looking too far low yet. 1d6. So, yeah, it's a d6 and 74. Right. Uh, and he gets a. How much of a plus to hit? A plus 2. Alright. So, you allow him the first blow, so he gets a plus 2 to hit. Right. And roll a d20. Oof. Uh, that's a 6. I assume that misses. Yeah, because my armor class is 17. As he predicted, he whiffs uh, the first attempt to swing at you. All right. Um... I, if he's doing anything technically wrong, I will, you know, step up and kind of adjust his stance. Like I'm a, like I'm a trainer, essentially. Okay. You know, hold it this way. Arms like this, you know. Although, actually, what's his armor class? I'm gonna, uh, um... Uh, according to the sheet, he's uh, armor class twelve. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, for the sake of fairness, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna say that I actually took my armor off before we started doing this, All which right. puts me at the same armor class as him. All right. Um. Uh, so, oh uh, yeah, I'll attack then. Well, I definitely hit. <laughs> Okay, you smack him for five. All right. Yeah, you, you, uh, he swings at you. You quickly dodge. You swing back. Uh, you're using you, yeah. You're using your mace in return. You manage to clock him in the shoulder. He grunts and kind of staggers back, and then pulls back to try and uh, swing again at you. Oh, that's gonna hit. Um, it's a D6 plus. Two to hit? Okay. Actually, it's a plus four to hit. So it's still a miss the first time. Uh, plus, it's plus, plus two damage. It's plus two damage. Yeah. I so roll he hits you for five. All right. You want me to subtract it myself? Yeah. Go ahead and subtract it yourself. 
He's not gonna win, but <laughs> not gonna win unless you miss a lot for some reason. All right. Oof. Oh. That's a. Ouch. Yeah. Right. So, so he swings back in retaliation. He gets you in the shoulder this time, but as unexpected to him was, you come back and really you just hammer him in the shin. He, he yelps and has, hops for a second. With a last uh, bit of effort that he can throw into it, he does come back to you with one more swing. And... Oof. Fail. Yeah, he, he just over... Uh, yeah, he... Yeah, this is going to be the worst one yet. He just basically overswings and almost topples over uh, Xena trying to swing at her. You can't let the pain mess with your form. Like I said, she's basically just being coached there. Ah, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. that fight's over. Yeah, you basically just haul up and uh, pull it, pull him in, and you just, like, stop the mace just short of his head and just kind of nod and say that's good enough for the moment. He sighs and nods and backs away. <sighs> Bologna just shakes her head. So, do you want... Actually, here's a good uh, idea here, though. Uh, do you want to actually have Philona step in and try and give him some pointers? I've been giving pointers, but I will well, go I, and I'll give I mean, give like, him... let's... Like, do you want to roll for, like, doing some practice to give him pointers? Um, what would that roll be? I'm thinking on that. Um... <sighs> what would Insight? be a good skill for, like, teaching someone something? I think insight would probably insight, make more... insight is more reading people. Yeah. Maybe performance? Or actually, uh Athletics. Maybe some athletics that roll of athletics to see if you can help train him up a bit. Alright. Let's see. Give him a few minutes of practice. Oh yeah. Um I'm going to say, let's see here. Probably go, grabbing his weapon, showing him a few forms, attacks, and then having him mimic, you know, basically. Yeah, like do a few steps with him, try and see if he can try and learn some of it. Mm -hmm. And after uh, after a few, after say about a half hour of some lecture practicing, uh, you let him go back at it. And I'm going to say he gets a plus, uh, let's say he gets a plus uh, three additional now to trying to hit since he's got such low numbers to be honest he doesn't he doesn't seem quite ready for this but he'll be able to another try to see how he can fare against uh Ozina now that he's oh, he, wants, practice. he wants to go again yep round two i'll still let him go first all right it's a plus it only makes sense to let the guys it's disadvantage a plus four to his hit that will actually hit if that's that, a plus that, that, would, that would hit even without the extra bonus that he just got. So, yeah. First swing in, he already clips you. That's a d6 plus 2. Ow. Oof. Gets you for 3, though. Three. <clears throat> Those dice just... Ugh. <laughs> yeah, he's not... <laughs> be, be glad that's the NPC that's rolling out the bad dice right now. Oof. Ooh. There goes half his health. <laughs> You, 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 he manages to clip you on the first swing this time, but you turn around and just whap. <laughs> you just get him right across the chest, and he kind of almost swings back around away from you. But then as soon as he turns away, he does come turning back and immediately swings for you again. And let's see. Oh yeah, he definitely hits you this time. Yes, without any of the bonuses there. Yep, and God, that's an additional just two. That's like another four damage. <laughs> D6s just do not like you. Well, he's already done more damage to me than he did in the last fight. Mm-hmm. He's also a level what? Fighting a level what? He's a level three fighting a level five. <laughs> and he's not a fighting class either. Right. So, I'm actually going to, like, uh... Can I intentionally flub an attack and roll with disadvantage? Um, actually, 
How about you look, you try to feign attacking but uh, fake it, and we call it a performance check to make sure that you can do it without looking obviously faked. So just like intentionally check. miss. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, you you oh, take yeah. a they purposely take a wide swing, <laughs> just enough so the uh, misses and he he feels like he just got lucky and dodged and swings again. Uh. Can I do something? Sure. Uh, that's uh, he gets a plus Six. four. That's a ten. And the plus three he got from uh, training that just barely hits. Uh, so as he attacks, can I use prestidigitation to make him make it look like he soiled himself? Why would you do that? <laughs> I'm wondering this too, but I'm not going to tell her no. Oh, oh, wow. He just wails back and gets you for 10. Or no, 8. Okay, so with... he hit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he, he hit. hit. So with that, uh, actually, uh, Azina actually looks kind of annoyed as she actually swings back for real this time. <laughs> <laughs> and this is... You see, you come back annoyed that he got a good clip on you, and you see him literally go. He just learned this parry move, and he's just like, "Oh shit!" Huh. And he comes back around again, just enough to hit, barely hit you again with the new bonus, and that does six more damage. I'm gonna fucking lose to my freaking minion now because I, I freaking intentionally flubbed an attack. He, he, yeah, he blocks it, parries it, and just kind of comes back with a quick jab to your shoulder and he smacks you again. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, you missed again! <laughs> Once again, you come in to swing at him. He, he, he just barely sees it. <laughs> and once again, tries to spin it around to try and strike at you once more after the parry. He finally misses again. <laughs> barely. Just barely, <sighs> but but you just you just feel the mace go whoosh. Ooh. And you come back and smack him, he just yelps as he gets another one right in the shoulder. But isn't Focus. quite done yet and Focus. comes back for another swing. Ooh. Oh, yeah. and... <laughs> Eight more damage. Crack! Oh! <laughs> A nice, another nice solid hit again. As he's now, he's now nervously kind of stepping back, waiting for that next swing. Oh! And yeah, that's out. Fight's over. And, and uh, you basically just, yeah, you just make so they smack the mace out of his hand and stop just for swinging into him one more time. And go, that's good enough. That <laughs> A big, big change. Slow kill off cops. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Valenian's gonna walk up. Not and, bad. Good improvement. And, but in the pit, you'd still be dead. <laughs> yeah, and Valenia just goes, Remember, our captain is all, sees all, and is all on our crew. Okay. I just gotta look here and go, Who in the what now? You just, yeah, you just suddenly get all eyes on you like, what? <laughs> what is that about? Well, I'm just kind of pointing out, like, you know, it's no hard feelings that you lost our captain because our captain is just pure awesomeness. But in Conan terms. That's uh, not quite the way yeah. I would have worded it in Conan terms, but okay. Well, not in Conan. Well, not not say that exactly, but Gunter, they... what is best in life? <laughs> <laughs> Across your enemies, you see them driven before you, and you hear the limitations of a necromancer. Oh wait! <laughs> <laughs> oh wait! Shit! Well, he claps a hand over his mouth. <laughs> 
she just walks back downstairs and she, says, she goes, I'm not angry. I won't be angry. I can't be angry. I won't be angry. We're going to Hyboria. <laughs> no, that, that didn't actually happen. We're goofing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wouldn't um, randomly say a quote from one of the movies for with, with no real reasoning behind it. Yeah, if we're quoting the movie, for we're literally goofy. We're not actually saying that happened unless we say that actually is something that happened for some reason. It's even more random than the thing that you just said. But anyway, so basically, yeah, uh, after a few minutes of uh, just patching up bruises, everybody's fine. Uh, did anyone else want to do I some think Blaine is... Uh, Blaine's gonna try to get some practice in. Okay. Uh, can okay. she get a dex best weapon or something with finesse? Um, actually, yeah, what is your current weapon? Uh, quarter staff, but, uh... I think you can use finesse for daggers? I'm not sure. Oh, wait, yeah, not dex. Daggers, daggers, short sword, rapiers, as I believe what the, what mostly what finesse Oh, would yeah, be. I definitely don't want to do finesse or dexes or drop stat. I forgot about that. Yeah, you don't want to finesse. That's going to be even worse. That's a negative instead of just a straight up zero. <laughs> I guess she'll fight with her quarter staff against uh, Captain Ozina. Why, why, why do I got to be everybody's sparring partners? Because I suggested it. <laughs> Because yes. they don't, because you don't want to spar with the barbarians. <laughs> well, she, she can spar with, with Giselle. Giselle would probably murder the hell out of her. <laughs> I'd probably murder the hell out of her if I use one of my, if I actually use my great sword. There's a reason Thelona is not going into sparring with any of you because she knows she'd pretty much just mop the floor with you. I can use your mace. Yeah, but do I want to? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. All right. So, do you two want to spar or not? Do you, are you are you up for this, Azina? Kind of I thought it would have made sense for her to spar with a uh, Tarthoon. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, that's actually not a bad option. All right, Tarthoon. So it's going to be a melee fight between the mages. Uh, let me get his character sheet ready. Copy image location. Oh, Bologna looks exceedingly bored at this. <laughs> okay. Um. So you walk into uh, into the circle with the quarter staff. Uh, Tarthung walks in. He also pulls out a quarter staff. These are just regular quarter staffs, right? Yep. Uh, actually, I think yours is a plus one. Yeah. No hot feelings, my lady. As he then quickly lifts off the core staff, does a little spin, and then starts slowly closing in. Do you want to actually roll for who goes first, or do you just want to? Uh, yeah, let's roll. Huh? Yeah, they're they're close. They're closely matched in health, so it makes sense for him to actually use the initiative okay. chart. Okay. Uh, NPC initiative. Submit. Ooh. Valena's going first. Yep. So Valena first. They're not even All gonna right. pull up the sheet for this. Land first. Yeah, because well, there's only two people. You can easily just look at the. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the order we're going in. Uh, eight to hit. I uh, double checking. He gets a bonus from Mage Shield, but what is his armor about Mage Shield? Is it just ten? Um, if he's not wearing armor, yeah. If he's are if he if he's not wearing armor and he doesn't have a Dex bonus, then yeah, it's just ten. All right. So yeah, that just barely misses. Actually, he does—he does have a Dex bonus. He's got a plus one, so he'd be, it'd be seven, so it'll be eleven then. Yep. Eleven fourteen with mage armor. Yep. All right, he, you whiff. Uh, he comes at you to see if he can maybe strike at you. Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> That's a yes. He rolled pretty high on that actually, and. Let me double check. Uh, he gets a plus four to hit and a uh, plus one to his 1d6. Uh, smacks you across the uh, hand for uh, six damage. Six damage? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you swing at him, he barely dodges. He comes back and smacks, smacks you on the arm. You, you shake your arm really quick and then come back at him again. 
All right, and now swing at him. Oh, come on. <laughs> wow, uh, you got plus one quarter staff. Um, okay. That's it looks a like lift. Ozina uh, that's... got all the good rolls. Yeah, now that Ozina got all the good rolls. <laughs> oh my god. It's trying to murder. It's like trying to make the DM dice more murder dice. Um, uh, that's a plus one to that. So yeah, it's another, he, he, whiff again. He co quickly comes up. I keep seeing the same boom spot. <laughs> another six damage. This time he gets you in the side. All right. I could make a comment, but it would be out of character. Damn it. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, <come> <laughs> wow. Is this really just going to be this one sided? What the hell? No. It is. Wow. 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 <laughs> I'm just rolling to see how long it takes for him to miss. He finally misses after four rolls. Th those those first four don't count. I'm going to count this next one now. <laughs> I just was rolling to go, just what the hell is this dice roller doing? Okay. Oh, he finally misses this time. Big miss. You, you swing okay. at him, he dodges again, but this time he comes swinging and he does it way too wide and he almost trips over himself. Alright, and Blaine's gonna try to hit him. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Critical hit! Five damage. Only five? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Because, Actually... because, because the second die rolled a one. That's a plus five. Yeah, that's a five, but... Shouldn't there be like an R plus or a damage? Well, no, no, because it rolls the the D six more than once. Uh, in the second one, it only rolled one. Uh, that's why it's it's. It, it, yeah, it's, it's it rolled four. a four and a one instead of yeah. Oof. Okay, well, five damage. Either way, you managed to you really nail it in the side this time. Now, right back, you hear him grunt for a moment, and then he tries to swing again. Oh boy. Is Gareth looking about as bored as I am? <laughs> Gareth is if nothing else is abused by the uh, the weakest people on the team trying to swing at each other. Uh, especially as the ma the new mage whiffs again. <laughs> Whiff Your old max whiff. damage. Your old max damage on a miss. <laughs> Don't you just hate that? I know. Oh, he's finally going to connect again. Oh, that's seven damage. After a few moments of whiffing, he finally comes back. Crack! Right on the shoulder. Oh! Oh! And you get him right back on the same shoulder, opposite, uh, almost a mere image of striking each other. Just slowly, like she, the mages she, are whittling each other down. It's like she used the momentum of getting hit to to swing around and hit him back. Basically. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, five damage this time as he comes back around and gets you in the knee. I used to be a venture like you, and I got smacked in the knee. I got smacked in the knee by a quarter staff. Oh, you red strike him right back again. Apparently, he just walked right into your swing and you just karate chop him with your staff. <laughs> he He's feeling the hurt, but you're starting to feel it too. Um, he tries to swing one more time. Woof. And fails. Just, that, that just whooshes off to the far side of you and he misses. Oh. Ouch! <laughs> Crack again as you just... Uh, this time you, you try to do a poke with your staff. You do about just hit him in the chin. <laughs> Has to step like back jabbed... for a moment before he comes back for another swing. Like you jabbed him in the throat. <laughs> well, you just kind of, you just, you just kind of smacks him in the jaw a little bit. Um, What's your armor? It's, it's got to be higher than that. Never yeah. mind. Yeah, it's got to be higher than that, so... He whiffs yet again. In the moment of panic, as do you. He tries again. Nope. <laughs> now it's just become a really goofy game of whack. -a -mole. Oh my gosh! Oh no, <laughs> he's, he got... he's got one hit point left. You crack him again. He's just he 
you just see him go, ugh, ugh. <laughs> he almost goes cross-side for a moment as you manage to hit him, but then has to quickly retaliate before you get a freebie on him. Ooh! Oh! <laughs> Seven! This is a really close fight, holy cow. <laughs> Seven, you're down to just a couple of remaining hit points, but you get the next swing. Moment of truth! Oh! As he, as he hits you in the side, you immediately raise your staff over your head and just karate smack it down over his head. He takes it over the head, just, oh! I think I'm good. I think I'm good. He, he, he a little bit taking the surrender on that one. At first, it just turned into ludicrously one-sided, then it just became this brutal whiffing bat session between the mages that they're just wildly swinging at each other. I like not think it's like... Robin him in tights when you're fighting with staffs and they keep breaking and then they just Yeah, keep... yeah they're fighting with sticks and they keep breaking in the middle of the river. <laughs> Every time he misses, yeah. the staff breaks and the staffs get smaller and smaller. <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> after, the, after they finish, I go, so I, I'm, 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 uh, I'm mildly amused and have an idea. Mm hmm. Garroth versus Thelona. Garof kind well, of looks at Thelona. <laughs> I'll admit being interesting to see if civilized life has made you soft. I'm not as civilized as you think I am. <laughs> so he walks out there. Uh, he He's holding up to both his weapons. He kind of looks at them for a moment. Uh, decides that it's better to be a little more blunt with the weapon, so he puts the axe down for now and goes with the maul. Felona has wrapped her her uh, two-handed sword. Okay. So basically, uh, with weapons. So now I guess we have to roll for this, don't we? Yep. Nineteen. Fifteen. All right, Garof gets to go first. Garof would like to rage. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> that seems a bit, uh, a bit unnecessary. They're both start. barbarians. This needs to happen. All right, Maul has only one clicky. Boom. Uh, 19 to hit. Highly doubt she has higher than 19 armor. Nope, 18. All right, so that's nine damage. Yep, I'm arguing with my sheet on recording that. Um, Boo. there, yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right. The it's easy actually, way to do it is yeah. Uh, the easiest easy. way to do it is through your tokens, actually. Yeah, if you click on the number, if you click on your token, click on the number, and you hit minus and the number, it will do the math and take it off for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. He's also gonna try and learn some of this stuff too because his uh, other groups are trying to learn D uh, roll twenty as well. By there the way, is. I would also like to frenzied rage. Oh, frenzied rage! Oh, what does that do? First of all, Thelona grins, and it's not a good grin. It's the, I found the BFG 9000 grin. <laughs> <laughs> this group knows what that means. <laughs> that means that I get an extra attack. Oh, shoot, that's right. You're, uh, I forgot you're supposed to have extra attacks, too. Uh, you didn't specify Frenzy Rage. Yeah, I forgot about that. Actually, I think it's just natural that he has a second attack. I don't know if I'll check that. It's a you can, not that you will, so. Mm. All right, so that's the first one. Oh, uh, also another thing to note. Uh, you're looking at your character sheet to roll, correct? Yeah. Uh, for the next round, uh, if you look at the top, underneath where you have, like, name, class, uh, etc., Mm -hmm. If you go across from the pencil, there should be a roll. It says normal that's highlighted. You can click on advantage to roll everything advantage for rage. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yep. Um, it doesn't, though, make the rage modifiers. No, uh, but it will at least roll everything else for you. Um, let, me, let me fix something really quick because I can make a modifier for rage. I hadn't thought of this. All right. And that's damage plus two. Should work. 
All right, we'll see if this works. All right, and so that would be 12 damage on the first hit because of okay. rage. Mm -hmm. And then what's his armor class? Um, Actually, that's a good question. I need to double check that. Uh, actually, his armor class is 17. Uh, yeah, that would be uh, additional 9 damage on the second hit. Okay, so 9 and 11? Or 9 and yeah. 12? Or 9, 9 and 11. 12. 9 and 12. 9 and... Okay, I'll just, that's right, the raging? bonus is the first hit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, right, I remember now. Gotcha. Uh, 12 plus uh, 9... Gosh, my, it was my brain frazzling. So, 1921. Uh, Yikes. He smacks her first. She comes back with an even worse attack. And you just see him just... Boom, oh, oh, you just see the blood boiling as he gets ready to swing again. I'm going to double check what he's got on his character sheet. So I'm pretty sure I had to do some updates too because there's a few things I didn't remember to do. Uh, extra attack, barbarian. You can attack twice instead of once whenever you take the attack action on your turn. What? Where do you see that? That's extra attack. It's a natural thing for his level. It's oh shit! I shouldn't have gotten a third attack. Yeah. Uh, you said yours is a frenzied. Yeah. I don't have I a frenzy on here. I'll have it's, to look into that. It's part, it's part of the Path of the Berserker. <coughs> right. Yeah, I, I think the Path of the Berserker stuff is stuff you have to enter in manually, so that's probably why I don't have it here. <coughs> yeah, so, but. yes. When I choose the starting this path at third level, you can go into a frenzy when you rage. If you do so, for the duration of your rage, you can make a single melee weapon attack as a bonus action on each of your turns. I think okay. you might have picked a different path with Garroth. That might be why you don't have it on there. Maybe. Too. I'm not sure. I have to double check that. So, yeah, that would have there would have been a third attack there. Which would have missed. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, that one missed. Fair enough. All right. <laughs> oh, but it also says uh, when you use the bonus action for your attack or something, is one level of exhaustion or something like that? Oh, when the rage ends. When the rage ends, yeah, yeah there's a point, uh, point of exhaustion. Right. For like a certain amount of time. But yeah. Um, so he gets to swing twice now, now that he remembers. <laughs> Full on rage mode going. Uh, let's see here. Uh, right, make sure that's good properly. Actually, all of them should be checked technically. Whoops, wrong button. Sorry that one. Oh, wow. Ouch. Uh, so that hit, hits in the mall. That's uh, 7 plus the 5. That's 12. Yep. Um, and second mall. That's a 20 to hit, so an additional 10. I'll check. He doesn't get any extra damage, does he? I don't think so. Uh, when you make a melee weapon attack using strength, you add two to your damage roll. One range. Okay, actually, yeah, he gets an additional two to that first one again. So, so that was a twelve. So that was a fourteen and a ten. Okay, got it. All okay. right. Yeah, barbarians. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Well, Boom. welcome, welcome to welcome to the barbarian bash. And he's using a maul. This is him being light. <laughs> Except that actually, that actually has higher max damage than his battle axe. It's just the battle axe is more likely to hit because of the magical bonus. Possibly. Ouch. <laughs> so that was... Yep. That was the yeah. 18? No, 19. No, that was 17. I got the I got the rage. Oh, you got, that's right, you, got the, uh, you got the all built in. Gotcha. Oof. So that was 17 on the first one. Nine on the second one. Because yep. that should hit. Yep, that should hit. Oh, gee, yeah. oh! I, think, I think the fight's over. I think the fight's over. That, let's map it. Let's map it before we decide. It might be very close, but I'm, he might be done. 
If only oh, Geralt wow. hadn't forgotten his extra attacks on his first turn. Right? Negative nine, and then he's down to 14. Yeah, he just went 12 under. Yeah, I hit him in the ghoulies with that one, didn't I? Whap! Ping! Oh! But yeah, Matt, looking at the player's handbook, you didn't pick Geralt's path for his Yeah, that's character. what I'm trying to figure out here. Is like, why didn't they yeah, include the path thing at all? You gotta pick either the path of the Berserker or the path of the Totem Warrior. Well, there's others, but... Those are the two in the main. Those are the two in the player's those handbook. Those are the two in the yeah. player's handbook that should be readily available, but I didn't see any option to pick anything. Is the thing. I don't think they're built into the character sheet because of the fact that most of the stuff that. Yeah, is so I'm gonna in... have to. I'm gonna have to sit down with him after this and. Yeah, I, I. I imported mine. Well, I didn't import it, but I copied mine out of D and D Beyond where I made it. Mm -hmm. so... Right. Like the thing is, the character sheet is it. it, it it knows the stuff you automatically get for your class for leveling up no matter what, but I don't think they, they knew how to program it to... Uh, to do the optional. You, yeah, to add stuff that you have to actually directly pick. Right. Uh, Valenian's going to run up to Garoff and make sure he's all right. <laughs> if he, if he, if... He's had a momentary dashing of pride, but otherwise he's fine. Stallone went after, after Garoff falls, turns in each direction and raises her sword in a victory cry. Her <laughs> eyes are still glazed. Um, what I was going to say... And it, then finally they clear up and she almost slumps. <laughs> and I am recording the, po the uh, point of exhaustion now. Alright. Um, if Garoth goes path of the Totem Warrior, it would be very fitting if he picked Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Because of the uh, for, the, for all the bear the... motifs that have been going on with this group, yes, yeah. Hey, boo boo! And it would be interesting. Hey, it'd be it'd be interesting if I'm our barbarians somebody's head in with my mole. It's it's funny. It's <laughs> funny you mentioned that in our in my uh, other D and D campaign, we had a uh, a barbarian, a halfling barbarian that was the path of the totem warrior bear, <laughs> and we, and we used an Ewok uh, mini for his character. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> yes! Yup, 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 and, and, ah! and after he got boots of springing and striding, we referred to him as the drop bear. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... uh my, 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 Don't my, tell my, stories uh, like this while I'm drinking. <laughs> one, one thing I was going to say, though, is, I mean, yeah, it it would make it be interesting to not have Garoth be the same type of barbarian as Yeah, Alona. just to throw something a little bit different, not to have the exact same thing. Yeah, I'll be looking into that because, yeah, that's something that obviously skipped and I didn't notice it skipped. Um, Sten Felona takes something out of her out of, out of of her bag, uh, spreads some of the scream on where basically Garroth um, hit her, and then tosses the jar at Garroth. Yeah, yeah, you toss the jar at jar and he does quickly snatch it and kind of looks at it for a moment. <laughs> he kind of gets the idea and sticks a finger in it and hits up a few of the more sore spots and starts to patch up pretty quickly. Uh, Valena helps rub the lotion in sore spots. <laughs> You're lucky we didn't choose a wager. Oh, I'm way out of practice for this stuff. <laughs> and he gets done and he hands you back what's left. <laughs> Actually, tosses back what's left since you probably tossed it to him in the first place. Yep, and she catches it and puts it back in her bag. Too many weak things. I'm trying to remember the last time we had a good fight anyway. He kind of thinks for a moment. The Night Gaunts? As soon as he, he mentions Night Gaunts, you actually see like half the crew go wide eyed, like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then she goes, Yeah, the Night Gaunts. Yeah, probably shouldn't was... bring it. Yeah, I go, I go, that, I was gonna go, that probably was the worst fight we've ever been in. Probably shouldn't no, bring that out. Uh, but it was said... fun selling their horns afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, stares at Garros with serious eye. You should join me for practice in mornings. Kind of blinks, looks back. Practice, you say? Mm-hmm. Mm. I train every morning at dawn. Might take you up on that. Mm, he's the. He, uh, by the way, yeah, he's getting his stuff back together and picks up the axe and puts it back away. Just wanted it out of the battle so he didn't have to accidentally maim somebody with a big sharp weapon. 
That's why Thelona got the padding, because she knew mm -hmm. that would be an issue. Right. He's just he's just multi he's multi talented. He was sure the ranged weapons weren't going to get anybody. Right. So I think. Yeah. I by think by that's... the way, by the way, Garof, by, uh for Randy's uh, knowledge on this, Garoff is not trained at all in any ranged weapons, but for some reason, this heavy crossbow they randomly pulled out of their loot works for him like he's almost trained with it. Mm. I don't know why the game just loves to roll okay for him on that. <laughs> Like, uh, the game likes the rogue cave for Valina to catch fish. Yeah. The game also loves when the wizard tries to catch fish. It's weird some days. It's like, can't roll for anything, but I can roll for catch fish. Can't seduce, but can catch fish. Oh, shit. Broke it. Yeah, broke it. She's, not, she's <laughs> never going to be able to catch, catch fish, fish though. Maybe she passed it on to Garoff, and now Garoff's going to be the one that catches Elena fish. Elena learned seduce and forgot catch fish. My. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my. Of course, that basically that states that Elena's a Pokemon, but yeah. Well. <laughs> well, I mean, she did evolve into a different colored uniform. <laughs> Selena Mach 2. Selena is evolving from a white necromancer into a black necromancer. Wow, that came out wrong. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, that did. Phrasing, good sir. <laughs> there goes the game. There Band. goes the game. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Band. <laughs> Band. Band everywhere. Get kicked off Twitter. Big bitch shit won't take this video. <laughs> oh, actually, if anywhere is safe, it's probably bitch shoot. They're pretty open about stuff. There's stuff on there I even I wouldn't watch. But yeah. All right. Uh, I, think, I think that's enough sparring for for the day, though. Yeah, that sounds like a, it's a good time to stop the sparring. Everybody got some good practice in. Uh, the carpenter got trained up to hit. It's not going to be great, but he's going to be able to smack something for sure now. We, we watched the fantasy equivalent of, 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 two, of two people going into a slap fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny enough, the, uh, the player character barely won. Just... <laughs> <laughs> First actually, roll, it's, first... it's, it's it's actually no, it's not a slap fight. It's the D D equivalent of people using the plastic lightsabers to try and smack each other. Just it's flailing like, plastic in all directions. I was just thinking, like, there's this family guy gag where it's like, wow, oh, guns, how did our forefathers settle their differences? And they just march off and they duel and then they come back just slapping each other and looking away. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking of. They're just looking away and just trying to slap each other. First first rule of Valena versus Tarthoon. We don't talk about Valena versus Tarthoon. <laughs> <laughs> Except that Tarthoon is now sitting over there with sore fingers. <laughs> All right. Well, so I'm it's better than poor Garoth, who who uh, who got definitely will not bludgeoned. be going with Belena for round two tonight. No, nope, that was a pretty good bludgeoning. He he, he needed a warm up. Yeah. That's uh. Well, that was that was some interesting bonding exercises. <laughs> Beating the shit out of each other. What else are you going to do on a boat for hours on end? That's the way most bonding exercises go. Which the... might get her a look, but that's... <laughs> she pretty much said that completely straight. You know, what's... I, I can't... I hope I can say this without laughing, but... Uh, Valenia's going to whisper in Garoff's ear. If it makes you feel better... All we can do now is just cuddle tonight if you want. You slowly <laughs> get you slowly get a look from him. He 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 no sells it publicly, but you get a hint that he's like, mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, obviously, by this point, more of the crew have started to notice that she's gotten very clingy. More so than usual, but she's actually kind of calmed now. 
It's weird. It's weird how that works. Right. Maybe Azina should hit on Giselle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to actually do that. <laughs> Yet. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I assume nothing else until dinner time passes. Yeah. Kind of deal. Alright, and so th things progress nor more normally until dinner. Uh, I am actually going to find roll this one just to see how well he does. Trant, what is your role in this? Plus five for cooking. Oh, dang. Did he just roll like two 17s in a row for some reason? No, that's just the one and just did the equals. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah he rolled a... He rolled a se oh, you know what? Maybe, no. I don't know so what that'd happened. Actually be a 20, that'd actually be a 23 if it's plus five. Yeah, so he gets a plus five. So he... Uh, no, like 22. 22. By about the time, you point. are smelling a uh, hell of a meal getting cooked up. You come back and uh, he has... Uh, i trying to think. What else did you guys have for leftover food? I remember you had quite a bit. I think you had uh, some fish. Um, what? Did we go hunting at some point? I'm trying to remember. It's been a while since you guys hunted. You've been on the water for quite a while, though, too. We ate, we ate all the jerky. We bought stuff while we were in town, so I. But I yeah, don't know there's what... yeah. I'm gonna say that there's some food stuffs in there, but he's trying to also get rid of the older stuff too. So I'm gonna say that the chicken was like something that was already in the ship. Uh, he right. uh, t for for dinner tonight. He pulls out the uh, some of the fish you've previously caught before. Uh, he's cooking that up. He cooks up some uh, some rice with some of the provisions you've given him. And uh, also prepares some more fruits and vegetables as usual. Just, just he just selects a few things occasionally and cuts them up and gets them on a plate and puts them on the center of the uh, essentially the mess hall table and then puts the rest of the food that's cooked for everyone out and you all have your meals for the night. Alana probably eats and then probably goes straight to bed, considering the fact that she blew the uh, the exhaustion point to go in the frenzy. Yep. <laughs> So, Falona probably just goes immediately right to rest. Probably will have, uh... uh probably will, might have an earlier watch before you do your, your normal practice and someone else can do watch. Like, the ship is literally just needs, like, one person and might not even need the uh, main characters, actually, for that. People just rest whenever they need to. Otherwise, yeah, Blaine, enough of the crew is backed up to watch for things. Lena's yeah. just gonna go to her room by herself, lay on her arms on the bed, fall back and just go oof Azina will take one of the watches though because she wants to practice on her flute <laughs> just kind of practice on her flute while she keeps manning the ship and keeps an eye out for things yeah. I think Valena will take second watch if she's able uh, I, like I said I don't need a, the, we can do essentially like a shift not an hour shift so I'm trying to think you need 8 hours for rest Full rest, so Azina would go down. We've got one, two, three, four, five. Five crew members technically, although I think this chef should probably should be just up for food and not be trusted to watch. At least not I'd, I'd actually I'd actually say that, that the navigator should just get full sleep. <laughs> well actually you, you know what that's probably true too, actually. That's probably more in more so. The uh, the just chef can take like first watch the second watch after Azina, and then the navigator gets the rest full night. Then the others gradually take watches. Um, so I'm gonna say yeah, we're about five hours into it. Does anyone else want to? You, Blaine said you want to take a watch. Yeah. So I'll be six. Let's say Geralt takes seven and Giselle takes the last one. Actually no, <laughs> let's have Theobald take the other one and Giselle takes the last one. So. I'm going to say yeah, for this... probably kind of wants to rest, too. <laughs> he, he, yeah, he's going to have the burnout, too. But speaking of which, not long after Valena goes to bed, soft knock on the door. She it's... opens it. The barbarian is there. We're not going in. Kind of sure. looks back and forth and looks back to her. Sure, <laughs> you let him in. 
you are quieter this time, but you do, uh, you two do stay the night in your room now. <laughs> for this, for the, for this night at least. Right. Uh, when you go for your shift, he goes back to his room for the rest of the night. And he'll rest for one more hour before, uh, uh, for a couple more hours, and then, uh, Thibault comes up to relieve you from your shift, and then, uh, Giselle comes up for the last one. Mind you, doesn't matter when she goes to sleep. Falona's up at the crack of dawn. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to say you pro uh, you all start probably going to sleep, say, around 9-ish, 10-ish. So the eight hours quickly kind of peels by. Mm-hmm. Um, and then once she once she's up at dawn, she will get dressed and then probably just barge into, the, into Garroth's room and try to shake him awake. <laughs> uh, actually, as soon as you walk into his room, he almost jumps up with axe in hand already. <laughs> oh, practice, right? <laughs> he kind of turns Just back, motions up to the yeah top deck, and yeah, <laughs> he nods and uh, looks back over to grab his maul and any other gear he thinks he needs to put on at the moment, and uh, redresses slightly, and then starts heading back up to the top. I think oh. it's after you. Um, quick question. Okay. Does the world of Conan have any songs like 99 bottles of beer on the wall? <laughs> you know, nobody knows where that song started. <laughs> no one's... Yeah, I don't know if anyone really knows where that song started. Someone must have been really, really fucking bored one day. <laughs> Eh, according to according to Wiki, it's only you know about fifty years old, but I bet there's been the equivalent thereof. Oh, I'm sure there's been something like that for a much longer period of time. Any of you've ever played like Assassin's Creed Black Flag? You know, sea shanties are a thing and have been for like ages. Right. Yeah, it's it's basically so, a modernized sea she shanty, is what it is. Simplified to the point that kids yeah. can do it. Yeah, uh, Azina performs a sea, a sea shanty while waiting for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, when Blaina was on watch, uh, she just, uh, she just goes, she's so bored, she just goes, rock, 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 rock. That one looks like Gara, rock, rock. <laughs> oh, just looking at the sky. Yeah. Look, stars, or looking at stars, stars. <laughs> Making her own constellations. Right. That, hmm. That one looks like a penis. <laughs> that, that one's Garroth. That one's Garroth's axe. That one's Garroth's helmet. <laughs> well, that one's Garroth's, well, you know, smiles and winks at the camera. <laughs> That's the constellation of Garroth, the well-hung barbarian. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, she just goes rock, 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 star, rock, rock, star, rock. And then, like, what's yeah. poutine? Uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> rock. <laughs> I don't know why there's so many Dwayne Johnsons in the sky. That one, he's laying on his side. That one, he's standing upright and flexing. That one, he's asking if you smell what's cooking, which we do. It's breakfast. Oh, that one's Scorpion King. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a rubbery look of face. Look at it. That one looks CGI'd. Um, oh, uh, there, oh, there he is as himself as a Scorpion King before the bad CGI. Okay, that one's better. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, Blaina goes up in the morning and, uh, just takes in there and just... So, so bas basically, uh, Giselle's holding the last watch. Ozina's out in the back kind of, uh, playing away on her flute. Meanwhile, the barbarians are uh, practicing with blunt weapons. Well, not just practicing, but mind you, there are some calisthenics involved, too. Oh yeah, you you take a few practice swings and then you guys uh, go into like different stance practices and so forth. 
Strat stands practices, push-ups. There's a few, you know. Some other exercises, yeah. Stuff I was taught by the pit masters. Heck, you uh, probably go for a couple laps around the boat. Yep. Uh, so by the time, yes. Yeah, so by the time breakfast is finally ready, the barbarians have worked up a bit of a hunger. Speaking of the breakfast, plus five. That's a seventeen. It's not as good as dinner last night, but you get essentially pancakes, which with enough of the the uh, syrup concoction the uh, chef has made uh, is perfectly suitable and fine. Um, you also get uh, some some Hopefully bacon. Hopefully, he made quantity. <laughs> huh. Hopefully he made quantity. Oh, yeah, obviously. He, you, uh, the one of the things he also asked for was definitely restock the flowers, so just just went hog on essentially the equivalent of pancakes and uh, made some extra bacon, uh, probably maybe you know, a bit of sausage <clears throat> or two, and then uh, some more fruits to put on, and plenty for everyone to chow down on before the day gets on again. Giselle gets to go back to her bunk for a little while and take a nap for having had the last post. I can't tell. Does this thing actually have, like, a crow's nest, or is there just watching? Um, I'm going to say that it doesn't look like this was built with a crow's nest, but I'm going to say there probably is one, even if okay. it doesn't seem to have one in the image. Okay. I'm assuming there's one because there's no way you're going to have something this big and not have a crow's nest. I don't expect right. there to be a pillow and blanket fort up there like I've heard one recently got, but uh, I assume there's got to be at least a form of crow's nest. Those poor blankets got ruined the next day. Shame. What? <laughs> uh, Crickle roll. Uh, let's just say someone went up into a crow's nest to hide from an enemy and got shot anyways. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So, so after breakfast, I will go up to Azina and go. If we are heading into the Northlands, do we have clothing for the North? <laughs> That's the moment where your captain suddenly goes wide eyed, so looks slowly looks at you, and goes, "Oh." <laughs> I mean, I do, but I don't know about the rest of you. Uh, uh, I guess we're going to go animal hunting when we get on land. Uh, Valena is uh, just mm. shouts out, I, I, I have plenty of outfits. Unless, is it uh, actually with, with how far we are, is there time for us to... Uh, um, could... I believe the way I calculated last time it took you three days to get across the sea, and that was the, the big chunky mill part. Where you're headed from, and two, I'm going to say it's at least another three days, and I'm going to check multiple maps here really quick. Because I'm gonna, there's, like, we'd, have to go, we'd have to go off course to actually hit a town. Uh, you might have to like turn westwardly early, but I don't think you'd be completely off course. Because we, the only town I can see that we that would make sense to go to is Coruscant. On the map. Mm-hmm. North of Shapur. Um, and even then, they may not have much in the way of North Close. Is that still in Tehran? Well, you know we what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna say we're just gonna we're just gonna hunt, find some find some animals to hunt for their furs. I will. Say, yeah, I'm gonna say actually, first of all, you're going you are going to be in the steps when you get off, so you're not going to be immediately in cold, but. You're going to want to start looking for something. Right. Because honestly, it'd, be, it'd make more sense to just get to just try and, and get ourselves some furs to put over our clothes that we already have instead of getting new ones. Yeah, I, uh, from what I'm seeing also the uh, newest map, um, the northeast, the, the, uh, the south uh, east, rather, of Hyperborea does have cold spots, but it's not completely frozen over yet until you get to, like, the northern portions. Right. Like, about halfway down or more. But we don't want to wait till the last minute. But you don't want to have to wait that long unless, if you don't have to, yeah. So you might have to make a pit stop somewhere, or I can also do some further investigations and see if there's another township on your way there. 
Because we're not even at the river yet, so we still got... We're, we're not going to yeah, get there still, tonight. You're, <laughs> yeah, you're probably not going to get there tonight, although you might get close to it. But uh, at least something I'll have to investigate before next time. And I'm sure I'll come up with something for you guys, or at least some options. Um... So anyways, I assume the rest of the day basically goes as normal. Yeah. Uh, so I'd rather, I'd rather, I kind of just want to get there, so I'm not really planning on anything special at this point. All right. I must say uh, that you at least are aware that there's a cluster of islands to yourself. They're not, like, within view of you guys as you're heading this direction, but you are aware that they are there. The, the Villiat Sea is full of islands in almost all directions. It's talking about a the, lot the, the A lot of them have been abandoned, and most of them are actually ruins, but a lot are pe things people won't touch. Um, but as this is happening, you kind of do kind of coast around a really small island off to your uh, uh, northeast. And I want a couple of people to throw a perception check. Why did, why did Valena make a constitution saving throw? <laughs> no reason. We don't want to know. <laughs> uh, yep. Ozina uh, took a 15. Actually, I'm going to say it's going to be Ozina and I want to have uh, Conrad take a perception as well. Actually, Conrad and Roger because you three are probably the ones that are looking the most Everyone else is just making sure the ship is running while the captain and a couple of the crew members are making sure things are okay around them. I'm trying to see now. Perception is what now? Wisdom. Wisdom. It's a wisdom. Okay, he gets a plus four for Conrad. Uh, so that's plus, uh, that's a 17 for Conrad, so he just barely outsees uh, Azina and Felona. And I also want to see a constitute, uh, check. Oh, come from... on, that's the best perception roll Felona's ever made. <laughs> uh, the wisdom check? Yeah, oh wow, he only gets a plus one. Oof. Yeah, that's why he's not the, he's, that's why he's not the navigator. Don't know why I double rolled. Uh, the first one's a 13 plus one, that's a 14. So yeah, he's kind of a little bit lower than the rest of you. He's slightly better than Thelona, but only just. Uh, the first one to uh, definitely notice it though, uh, and uh, Thelona almost sees it at the same time. Uh, actually, no. Wait, where'd the other perception roll go? Oh wait, that's right, that's the plus five. Gotcha, Never mind, my brain. Frazzle. That that four that was a four actually. He completely didn't see it. Um just about the same time as you, Felona. Um It was uh, dang it, my brain. Yeah, it was Conrad that spotted uh So both of you both of you kinda start looking off to the uh on uh, the northeast of you around that island and you both notice a dark spot, uh, which is when uh, Conrad quickly uh Looks over to Ozina and motions her to come over quietly. Not sure okay. if it's something urgent yet or not. Who is motioning to me? Uh, Conrad. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, as soon as you catch Conrad's uh, attention from Conrad, you quickly roll over. Um, he uh, immediately goes, uh, Captain, you might want to use your um, oh, what's the name spy of glass. it? Spyglass. Your spyglass, and kind of points in a direction towards the island. All right, I check to see what he's trying to point towards. All right, I'm going to uh, give you another perception plus five on that one. Okay. Um, we'll just automatically plus five it. So, so you got 16, and you definitely spot it. So you see, you, you aim that way, and at first you see, see a, uh, one dark spot, and then you see another one, and then you see another one trailing that. You essentially start to see three what looked to be possibly smaller boats trailing off from the island bo from behind the island as you're moving. Um, I'm going to say that as the uh, the mo moments roll in, you start to realize they're picking up speed, actually. They possibly have seen you. And the way they are picking up speed is because these seem to be longboats. 
These are guys with one sail each on each boat. And now you see that the oars are out and starting to power them even faster. I, uh... I yell, uh, I, I yell out. Uh, prepare for combat, man the catapults. Speaking of which, yeah, I didn't actually place the catapults. I'm going to say, going back over to your eyes' this page here. So I was looking at the map for some of this stuff earlier. Uh, oh, and I need to go a bit more over this way. Come on. Wow, why does this zoom in so much? Okay. Um, so you man the catapults. I'm going to say that uh, each of the catapults is like right here and right here, essentially. Uh, and right here, essentially. So there's one on each side. And actually, there's enough space with the catapults that you can turn around and fire both of them to one side if you need to. Right. It means that you need them a little bit closer for shooting the second one, but they should still be able to fire pretty soon afterwards. Right. Um, and yeah, the long boats are definitely quickly closing in. You, you have plenty of speed with these big sails on your current boat, but the extra ore power of these other boats definitely is propelling them faster. Yeah. Can I, can I, I see, can I, uh, they're probably too far away for me to figure out what kind of people are on them. Um. I'm going to say you're, you're obviously manning up and uh, everybody's quickly hustling to get the catapults ready. And the barbarian's probably the first ones to quickly rip the rocks and the, the, the catapults themselves while others are aiming them. Uh, after a few minutes of them slowly closing in, you get a better look at them. Uh, you do see it's a mixed crew. It looks like they could be uh, a little bit of both uh, possibly Samorians or... Uh, other people from uh, Tehran, but also uh, there seems to be a definite mix of uh, Harkanians in there as well. And they definitely look like they're up to no good. Yeah, <laughs> they seem to be ra uh, you, as you're getting a better and better picture of them, and you can actually finally start making up different people. You definitely see a, uh, a fancier dressed guy with a big hat on the middle one of the boats. And he definitely seems he uh, as you're looking at him, he suddenly pulls out an eye glass, uh, a spyglass as well, and you, after a moment, you see him looking directly at you and giving a smile and then a slow wave. I give him a finger. <laughs> <laughs> you see him frown for a moment, then just pull back in a really nasty uh, smile again, and seems to be shouting orders at the others. <laughs> And he said, fancy hat. I'm like, oh, I thought this guy got ate by a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> what captain doesn't have a fancy hat? You have a fancy hat. <laughs> I know, but look out for crocodiles. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're in the sea now. You might want to even look out for sharks. Look out for sharkodiles. <laughs> Watch out for snakes. That's, that that sounds like a sci fi channel movie of the week. <laughs> <laughs> Darkodile. Versus Sharknado. Sharkodile versus Quacktopus. <laughs> Land <laughs> sharks. Oh, wait. Um, but yeah, but before too terribly long, it does close, they do close in much further. And I am going to go back over to here. And yeah, you got your... Actually, you sold this boat now, so I'm going to move this boat out of the way. Oh, are they coming up behind us? Or that's the rowboat. That's the rowboat. So the rowboat's a little more... Actually, it's probably on the boat directly, but I'm just going to say it's here for right now, just so you know that's there. Mm -hmm. Alright. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Kind of start to pitch these guys up, like, right about here. Right about here seems about fair. And I'm not going to uncover more. I'm guessing they're going to be on the south because the, the top part of the map is really, really close to the top. Or, I don't know. Um, I need to move that further back, but yeah. Yoink. Oh, those spots oh. are bigger than I thought they were going to be. Oh. 
Oh Is yeah. Long those, <laughs> those are galleys. Eh, kind of, sort of. Good old flicking off the enemy captain. <laughs> yeah, like I had to go and piss him off now. <laughs> oh, I'm pretty positive he was already gonna fuck with us no matter what, so... Uh, well, now he's just gonna go in there with intent. <laughs> it just seems, it, you know, it's just, it's just in my nature to piss off the enemy captain, like... <laughs> had the one in the freaking rowboats in the river that was just swearing up a storm while we messed his shit up. Mother... <laughs> ah, shoot. You idiots, save me. Yeah, oh, no, that boat went me, down save too. Me, save me, ah! he Gets pulled underwater, gets <laughs> eaten by an alligator. Yeah, yeah. Stop running away. Get this crocodile off me. You die instead. No, <laughs> Captain, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just have the worst luck, that captain. Not that the other one was any better off. The wizard that's on your team set her on fire. <laughs> Which reminds me, uh, Melina's gonna go up to the uh, wizard and go, Do you still know Fireball? He looks out to you and nods. <laughs> How far can you throw it? I believe it's the same with everybody. It's like, what, 500 feet? I forget how long, long it is. Far. I know it's ridiculously long, though. Like 60 or something, at the very least. Uh, Fireball can be thrown 150 feet. 150. So actually, that's a good question. Ruler. Yeah, I was going to say, some of them are probably actually close enough already. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're here. Yeah, only, oh. I think only the third one is too far away. Nope, you can hit the tip of that one. Yeah, but it would you'd be more worth hitting the ones where you can hit the center of the boat. Oh no, you can get the center tip, but yeah. <laughs> She's, they're all hittable, Captain. <laughs> captain, what say you, Captain? He can throw a fireball and hit all three of them. I don't think well, uh, then he's radius. not gonna hit all three of them. It's yeah, only fireball's like a... radius isn't big enough to hit. We're gonna, I, I say, have him fire at the second one and have the catapults aim at the closer one. All right. all right. Speaking of which, I need to pull up my other book, which is digital. I paid for it, and don't check what these things have for hit points, because you're gonna start messing up boats. Do we have any uh, pit? Hmm? Huh? What was that? Do, do we have any pitch? Not pitch. that I'm aware of. Tar. Yeah. No. That probably uh, wasn't the best idea. I, I think I know where you're going with that. Did I assume you were thinking of lighting the boulders on fire? No, I was thinking about using some fire arrows, but... <clears throat> Either or. It depends on what Either you plan way, to do with it. Usually ships use tar to, to, as a sealant, but yeah. There might be a, like a little bit of it in uh, Con uh, in uh, Gunther's stuff, but uh, only just for any patchy work he needs to do. Um, right, I need my book. What's in here? Captains and... Uh, Patents and cannons, yes. Uh, let's open that one. Gotta go to the bottom of the PDF, and I need to figure out what these guys' hit points are. Sailors and captains. I don't need that right now. Thank you. Try to... I'm trying to remember what you guys is technically is. I think you guys are technically a gunboat. Um, I thought it was. Or was it big enough to be a large? I and can't it... remember. It wasn't it large, was. and you actually are in a galley. Ooh. Yeah, I think it Possibly. was a galley. Okay. Yeah, I think you, I think you say it was a galley. Actually, 
which case, I think the hit points that I have for your ship is wrong. Oh yeah, massively wrong. I think those are the hit points for the previous boat. Yeah, the keel boat. Those are the hit points for the keel boat. Yeah, I just looked at your hit points for your boat, and I need to update this. Oh, uh, not the ruler, please. Uh, first of all, your boat hit points now is... Boom. That's a massive difference. <laughs> yup. Especially when these boats that you're about to fight are uh, just about the same hit points your old boat was. Well, they are close to the same size. They are close to the same size, so that makes does make sense. So that's that's the least information you guys can have on that. Uh, okay. Things and remind me of like biremes. What was that? I said they remind me of biremes. The really ancient ore boats that were used by like Egypt and Greece. Kind of like somewhere between that and maybe a Viking longboat. Yeah, I was thinking Viking longboat. Nah, they're too wide. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit wide for that. Just a smidge. So it's, it's again, it's like everything else in Conan. It's a weird hodgepodge of a lot of ideas that later became differently defined. Which is actually perfect for them. Um, and I need the armor for these guys. Yeah, uh, let's, mm -hmm. and armor class is okay. Not very high. Not not horrifically high, but not extremely easy either. All right, so the first uh, uh, idea you guys have in mind is to throw fireballs at them. Mm-hmm. All right, so before uh, the fighting officially takes off, uh, you do talk Tarthun uh, um, to come up front and he uh, does prepare a spell really quick and you want him to take the mill ship? Yeah. Okay. Tarthun walking up and going, Kamehameha! <laughs> no, actually, there's actually attacks like that. <laughs> Well, actually, no, no, actually, Fireball is closer to Kamehameha than it is a, uh, uh... Spirit Bomb. Actually, it's actually, yeah, it's actually probably more close to a Spirit Bomb, but it takes less time to make. Ah, uh, my brain just, my brain just goes to Slayers and thinks Fireball. <laughs> I think the captain's has that same look at but, but then he's gotta, he's gotta do a spin and yell, FIREBALL! <laughs> And you can just picture Captain like Freeze looking up, seeing the huge thing in front of him, going, "Oh shit!" Yeah, uh, that means, that means it, no. It's like it'd be it, it'd be more like Freeze's supernova attack. Oh, higher damage increases. Uh, what wonderful um, fireworks! Oh, there it is. Uh, Eighty-six. Uh, is there something yet? Uh, it's a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Uh. I don't, know if it, I don't know if inanimate objects can make a dexterity saving. Well, technically, throw. it is a moving vessel, so there's at least a little bit there, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't really get much of a bonus to it. So let's just see. Uh, what would this to hit be with a fireball then? What's his? Uh, it's what? yeah. It's say, normal, he, there's normally not a two hit. It's he's normally a, just he's a, save. he's a fifth level. Yeah, uh, what's his, uh, let's see if he's got a save DC listed on his thing, um, I think, I think it'd be, I think it'd be a 13, because he's got a plus three of intelligence bonus. The base, the base saving throw is usually a 10, and then the plus the, the um, I think it'd be a 15, isn't it? Because don't you get your skill bonus to your save? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's gotta be something else in there, too. So at least a 15 to save. And it's yeah. got a flat zero to dex, so... Oh. Yep, that boat ain't saving nothing. Just so got that's full fireball damage. That's full fireball damage, so... The fireball is... Uh, 86. So we're gonna do this again, where everybody can see it. 
Um, you actually bring up the full list of dice rolls, please? Or do I have it and it's just blocked? It's just blocked. Okay. Roll... 8... D6... <laughs> Pitches the fireball! And immediately you see the whole bunch of the crew members having to go after their sails. Uh, the sails do start on fire, but the boat is by no means sinking yet. Um, just for an FYI, save day, save day, DC is eight plus your proficiency bonus plus your spellcasting modifier. So okay. whatever your whatever your stat bonus is. So. So it would have been it would have been fourteen, I think, for him. Either way, they didn't make it. But yeah, just they, right. they, they didn't right. make about a long shot. But yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you, you see him concentrate for a second as... Actually, by the way, you, there's something else nifty to notice about this guy. You, you're used to some of the regular wizards you see running around. This guy's a little less normal civilized, if you will. His spell book is literally a, a, a scroll that's made out of leather instead of your normal paper. <laughs> so his spell book is actually this nicely done leather scroll that he kind of does for a moment, just trying to memorize it really quick again. And like, yep. And you see him chant for a few moments, do a few hand gestures, and then focus out on the boat and just boom. And you hear a few panicked voices as they start trying to put out the fire and try and protect your sail. I just had a thought. Um, let's see. What is the range on this ability? Damn, it's only 60 feet. Can I hit the... Can I, hit the I didn't mean to close my character sheet. God damn it. 60 feet, you were trying to go to the boat? Nope. <laughs> oh, wow, even the closest one's too far away. Yeah, that's an 85-er. That's an 85-er, dear kitten. Yeah, Shatter, Shatter only has 60 feet range. All right. Yes, let's get ready to fire the catapults at the closest one. All right, so you're fighting both catapults at the closest one. I have to double check where catapults are. Elena doesn't have fireball, does she? No, she does not. I was gonna say, I, I assume that's I... not something she's focused on. Right. It would be nice once in a while, but it's not something she's focused on, so it's not something she has in her artillery at the moment. I tried to convince her to get, and she's like, "No, I want to be different." <laughs> I don't want to be. I don't want to be efficient. <laughs> I, know, I don't want all the me. same magic spells everyone else picks. It doesn't fit the 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 necromancer motif. Really. Yeah, I know. But you know, D and D wizard fireball is everything. All right. What other spells do you need? It's just fireball. What other spells right, do you need? You need Shatter and Ice Storm. That way you've got three different varieties of Fireball. You forgot Lightning Bolt. Lightning right. Bolt goes in a straight line. It doesn't cause like a central explosion. Yeah, but its range is a lot farther. Oh, and Magic Missile. And oh, lightning, Bolt can, Lightning, magic. lightning Bolt can also bounce off walls so you can actually hit the same enemy more than once. I don't know if it still does that. Hmm. I know it used to. I know it used to too, but I don't remember seeing that in the current text of Lightning Bolt. So they might have gotten rid of that. But it has um, like 180 feet instead of the 150. Did I put that somewhere else? Did I not move it in here? That might be the thing. Hmm. Um. I know I had it out of a thing for capital somewhere. I'm trying to remember where it was, and I'm not finding it. And I thought I had another, like, uh, pamphlet I got for seafaring. You wouldn't believe how complicated it, ca how complicated it is to get oh, seafaring rules. Oh, are you rules. kidding me? What? Uh... Okay, here we go. I have a full question. That ship's badly damaged from the fireball, right? That's mildly damaged. Mildly? We got 100 something hit points. Oh. Yeah, and you hit it for 30 something. 
Okay. Never mind then. Had an idea. Yeah, it, it, it wasn't one of my Pyromancer's Fireballs from my other campaign, which does minimum damage of two per dice, and if you're fire-resistant, no, you're not. Maybe this was it. Hey, uh, Matt? Yeah? How long are we playing for? We're probably going to be ending soon. Uh, I'm just trying to find bloody okay. information <laughs> on Catapult. <laughs> Maybe we should actually save this for next time because it's already 11. Yeah, I'm, I've to... lost where my stuff is for Catapult. So, you know, we're going to say that that was your, basically your first round and then we'll start next time with the Catapult's firing. All right. Well, that's your warm-up for tonight. <laughs> A fireball has been launched. Catapults no. are aiming. No, my warm-up was smacking the shit out of Gunter. <laughs> Twice. He got you a few times to the last one. Yeah, didn't help that I intentionally missed on one of my attacks. Well, that was your fault. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you almost threw the fight. Anyways, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We'll see you all next time. See you all next time. Laters.com. <laughs>